Hello and welcome back to another video. This is Jo and today we are going to be doing the June 2022 Scrawler Challenge. Um, unboxed all the supplies in the last video. Also had a little bit of a conversation about pricing etc. Um, but this time we are going to do the Scrawler Challenge um, test the supplies a bit more in what I want to do and see where we go. So just a quick reminder, that's the scroller zine. This was our um, paper, so Bristol board paper. And we've got featured artist artwork. I don't think it really matters which way you put it. Uh, our scroller challenge was Electric Dreams, is Electric Dreams. And we had these supplies along with the paper. So a neon red, a neon orange neon green and neon yellow paint markers water with its water based and a pigma micron 05 which is 0.4 millimeter nib in purple so electric dream i have as always been planning this prior to the video and i wanted to go with the eyes and a dream in a bubble and based on the song i think there's going to be a lot of this together in electric dreams two hands coming together and this is where the dreamy bit is going to be right with neon that's the plan so i've got my uh, plan there um i've got some reference pictures of hands because they're not my favorite thing to draw and let's get started now normally wouldn't add anything to the supplies but pencil rubber because quite honestly i think i'm gonna need that let's get started so i've been playing a bit more with the supplies Originally, my thoughts were to do something linked to the book by Philip K. Dick of Do Androids Dream of Electric Sheep. So, you can see that. Also, trying some of the scroller tips of combining the two inks together when they are still wet, and I didn't find it worked very well. Also, found that if you layer it too much, it really tears up the paper. Um, so, that wasn't great. So, we will see how we go. Also, my pad has come out of the backing so I'll put that out of the way okay so let's start by just getting like a basic idea of where I want things so we have eyes down here obviously my sketches are really rough And this is going to all go over with the Pigma Micron. Um, right, let's try and get some hands drawn and then I can draw the bubble around it maybe. Um, hands are just one of those things I find really difficult. And that was a load of stuff falling down, so I apologise. But as I am trying to do this in one go, I cannot go back and refilm that bit. Ah, uh, filming. So as I said before, we were talking before about like value for money of these boxes. Um. And, I mean, they are good value. I Don't get me wrong. I just think, for me, these suppliers haven't really felt value for money. Um, and I think that's the same for a lot of people. It's not that they really don't want to still subscribe. It just was the wrong box at the wrong time for many people. Um, yeah, 
that's not going to work. That's better than it could have been. The reason they're not actually kind of cloth is to do with the soul. Because it's not about kind of not actually being with the person. Honestly, Google the lyrics if you want to know more um, about the song. So yeah, back to what I was saying about the scroller box. I mean, I'm not giving up on it just yet. We have got July's box also coming in at the previous price of £16.95. £16 I'm not guaranteeing that there's anyone from abroad watching me. But if there is, that's the price in the UK. Um... So we'll see what July's box is. I haven't got any intention of kind of giving up the subscription because I enjoy it. And that's what I've really got to look at is, is it, it can I afford it? And am I enjoying the box? Um, and I do. Um, so yeah, that is basic outline there now, let's see how we do with the paint markers I think I may have done these too narrow now so <laughs> um, we'll see how it turns out there's no point me really actually putting any features on the hands because I'm just going to have to go over them with a the marker but you've got to be so careful here not to kind of um, tear up the paper even with like the scroller tips which are usually really good I have found these difficult to work with and again I think that's kind of why I felt the way I did when I saw the last box And I do know that a lot of people I kind of watch on YouTube have felt the same. But I also know that like in the group on Facebook, a lot of people really enjoy this box. Um, so yeah, they can't cater to everyone all the time, can they? So... And there's always going to be boxes you're not as keen on. Whatever subscription you use. Right, Looks like I'm meeting some kind of alien in this, does not I'm planning to use the Pigma Micron to put some more details in once it's dried a bit. At the moment it's looking better than I thought it would. I'm actually enjoying that it's not quite a solid colour. But you can still see some of the paper through it. I think if I tried to fill in those gaps, I would just end up tearing up the paper. So that's the hands. Um, 
and I'm going to go around the out. Originally, I was going to do that in pure micro, but I'm actually going to go around in yellow because it kind of looks a bit like a lightning bolt. Not completely. I'll give you that. Some people are kind of like afraid to leave white space sometimes and actually sometimes you need the white space you don't have to fill it completely I really need to get more organised. Okay. So I think that's how much I'm going to do using the paint pens. Um, that's still drying, so I'll leave that for the time being. And let's go to the eyes. They're quite basic. I'm not planning to do a lot of detail on them. see if the hands are drying off yet. I think they are. I'm wondering whether to outline them or not. Sure. Let's do the other hand and see what I think then. They kind of look like alien hands, I'm not too worried about how accurate they are. Might. No, I am going to outline them.
Okay. So I think for the time being. my school a challenge complete but I feel like it's missing something and I don't know what hmm. and I don't want to overwork it either so I am going to leave it there for the time being <laughs> if I add to it I'll let you know and um, but otherwise I think that's it for today's video a uh, quick reminder um, of the supplies, so you've got the Pigma Micron pen, you've got the Bristol board paper from Friss, um, Pintor markers from uh, Pilot, and the school challenge was Electric Dreams. So again, based on the um, song Together in Electric Dreams. Um, Again, I'm looking at the colours on the featured artist and comparing it. I just don't see it, but never mind. Uh, for me, it's not my favourite box, but again, it's the supplies. They're not for me personally. Other people love them. Um, so yeah, everyone's different. But thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you next time with another video. I'm really hoping the artful box comes so that can be the next video. Um, otherwise, I will see you soon for another video and uh, take care.